So let's let's go over this again. Uh, so this is a new. This is pretty typical. I think. I think that it, they did confirm all levels for Virgil. Um, if they added a new cutscene here at the beginning, this is pretty standard for Virgil campaigns. Uh, this is just or this thing right here. The um, this scene right here is just from Mission 18. So. I don't think that this is indicative of any of anything. Um, I'm gonna go over the positives and stuff now. This that was just something I wanted to get off my my chest. I expect us to hear an announcement at a, about a PC release in like three to six months. Um, so let's see here. Uh, the the first couple of big things to note, obviously. Are that in this trailer the only weapon that's shown is Yamato and then like V is a weapon uh, technically it's like his his SDT type of thing and uh, we'll get to that in a second um, but yeah it looks like a room clear for sure it looks like they're still going to and this is this is something that I kind of feel 50/50 on. Okay. Um is that Virgil is like he's supposed to be the calm and collected brother, right? He's supposed to be the methodical one on the scale of like Darth Maul to to Darth Vader, he's definitely like a Darth Maul, right? Calm, calculated, collected. Um, in 3SE, you can definitely see, like, a lot of his moves don't have, like, the wild berserker style. Even, like, Rapid Slash has a startup on it. This trailer definitely leans into what was already established uh, in 4SE. Um, which is like the Berserker Wolverine style thing. And I guess there's an argument to be made of somebody's... What's up, Turning Leaf? I did, by the way, yes, do uh, do an all Virgil campaign speed run, including the DMC5 Virgil mod, uh, like a week ago. I will update that uh, to include five special edition Virgil or just five vanilla Virgil, uh, whatever I have my hands on at that point. Uh, and I like the feel of better. Probably five special edition Virgil, I'd imagine. Um, cause I did pre-order a PS5. I'm due for a console upgrade. It's been like more than half a decade. Um, I am glad to see that a lot of like his regular tools are returning. Also, this is, this is interesting to note. Um, on a cutscene level, like this just looks totally like this does not look like the same, the same game, right? Like right here, especially. This does not look like um, how he looked in, in the previous stuff. Um, oh, no. I mean, like, here's the thing, DNC, is that we'll probably lock Virgil. We'll probably lock the Virgil runs um, for, like, two weeks, sort of like we did with um, with 5 Vanilla. Real-time shadows? Maybe, yeah. Uh, this This does look really, really good, though. Um, this cutscene right here looks a absolutely incredible. This definitely, I think, reflects more of like, um, I guess like his, his darker side, right? You know, for lack of a better phrase, because yeah, there's a shadow there, haha. -ha. But like, his eyes almost look, you know, entirely black right here. Uh, it definitely leans more into the idea of him just being like hollow and, um, Definitely, like, tortured, you know. Let's see here. This right here is also interesting to me with his Devil Trigger. It, it, this launches now. Like, this is this is something that exists to an extent in 4SE. Where, um, yo, Matthias, how, or Matthias, or... I don't remember how I actually pronounced that. Matthias. But this launches in an AoE now. In 4SE, his Devil Trigger activation um, does have 
um, does have like a hitbox on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, I'm reacting to the five special edition trailer. Yeah, it, it, it K and B's, but it's, it, or it knocked downs or whatever, it knocks back, but it's really small. This is just a straight up launch. And this is in a really, really big AoE. So this is going to be really, really cool, actually. Um, oopsie. And it looks like the, the launch time on that is really good. Um, him having... This this is kind of disappointing, I will be a little bit honest. Uh, yeah, it is basically SDT launcher. But uh, I hope that he can actually act out of it a little bit faster than Dante can. Because with the, uh, with the limitations... Um, well, Dante's DT... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Shy Guy. Uh, that's true. But um, <coughs> with Dante's DT, they just hung in the air. You know, like, this is just like a pop-up, and then they come back down. Um, but hopefully he can act out of this because of the limitations now that he presumably has um, with just a Yamato-only moveset. Let's see here. It is a little bit disappointing, I have to say, that they are not going to actually flesh out his um, SD, his DT at all. They're not going to use any of his um, concept arts for his regular DT. He just transforms into SDT. And then he has the Virgil, or he has the, uh, the, the V room clear. Uh, this is definitely, like, this is one of the things, too, right here. This right here. Uh, this thing, this guy right here, uh, that is really going to, I think, decide whether or not this character has a lot of longevity. Um, and I say this not only from a style perspective, but also from a speed run perspective, because obviously I don't know to the extent that he's going to be playable, uh, or you're going to have to. Um, or you're going to have to play him or how he's going to fit into speed runs or whatever, but <clears throat> doppelganger is so fun with this character. Um, and if they implement it like reboot did, it will have a lot of potential. Uh, I'm getting to the Virgil turning into V thing. Uh, I'm going to theorize about that in a second. Yeah. So, Doppelganger Virgil was complete, like, Doppelganger Virgil in Reboot was so fleshed out. He has delay adjustments. He can pull enemies just straight to the Doppelganger instead of himself, I believe. He can set, um, <clears throat> he can set the Doppelganger to do either just regular attacks, uh, the dark mode attacks, and the light mode attacks, there was a lot of customization with Reboot Virgil's doppelganger that I hope they take at least a little bit. Um, I hope that they take at least a little bit of the, those ideas and implement them in some way because you can clearly see in this um, that like he's already moved, right? He's already moved here and the doppel then moves after. Um, so there's obviously delays and stuff. There is also the ability to just have it sync up with you immediately. What's up, Lazaga? Um, let's see here. So also, this is, this is funny to note. I don't know if anybody noticed this. I'm going to take off these freaking annotations. Uh, but Yamato actually clips through. Yeah, I'm going to run both SE and I'm going to run Vanilla uh, 5 as well. Uh, we'll get to like um, why I think that this special edition is going to be a great addition to the speedrun scene. Because I think that speedrun wise, this has the potential to really shake up uh, how Devil May Cry 5 is viewed as a speed game across two releases. Um... 
it's it's gonna be cool it's gonna be a cool talk so let's see here uh let's actually thing thing i don't know what i think that's just supposed to yeah uh so check this out by the way he just it just clips through him by the way what is this face <laughs> what is this face dude but like Yamato straight just clips through him before he actually does the stabbing animation. I just thought that was funny. Um, but so this is a so for those of you not in the uh, that haven't really paid attention much to like what people have data mined. Uh, this is actually a move that is in the files for V. Um already and this i thought was something that was indicative that v was going to be yeah it's called trinity yo flare it i thought that this was an indication that v was supposed to be something entirely different in uh the concept modes or in the concept stuff like stages of the game i thought maybe he was supposed to be like on his doctor strange shit um, however, all we had were the motion files of, like, the stuff that he's doing in the air right now. Uh, there was none of, like, Griffin flying around or Nightmare doing anything. It was just, like, an AoE, uh, like, attack and stuff. So, this is probably just, as Shy Guy said earlier, this is probably his SDT, and it's probably a room clear. Uh, I wonder... Yeah, I, I would agree. I wanted I wanted this character to be on like his Zato stuff, or and like I wanted like Doctor Strange combined with Zato. That was what I wanted V to be, and I got like something. I don't know. I like V. But I think they could have done a lot more with him. I think they were so scared to try too much that they just did too little instead. <laughs> oh, God. This is perfect. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I only like V in the context of, uh, like, the speed runs, uh, Rubber Band Man. I like the dynamic that he brings to the runs. But, yeah, I expect this. I want to see what kind of moves we'll unlock with this. Um, and we'll see, um, we'll see what kind of other, like, cool potential the SDT has. Let's see what else is there. Uh, this is... I don't really understand the uh, the exposition here. Uh, obviously, showing Virgil in... In... Uh, what's it called? Showing Virgil in Bloody Palace is cool. But I don't understand like these random screenshots and sort of random little footage here. LDK mode. Pretty cool. Also, turbo mode. And stuff. Not really a whole lot to say about turbo mode. Pretty much just is what it is. I also wonder sort of what the implications this screen are. Like this screen has for the, the full release of the game. If it's going to just show Virgil on the on this screen like this or if it's still going to be Nero uh in the special edition version that makes sense time that makes sense too foggy yeah hey shotgun my switch between Virgil and the original can I yell at Matt Walker to be to put SE on PC? If I had that kind of pool, I definitely would have already done that. Um, I think that it's cool that... Uh, so this is also what I'm wondering, okay? 
Um, so for va- for vanilla DMC five, um, you are gonna have the option to buy Virgil at a later date for five dollars, and. I hope that is not like a new game plus only thing in the vanilla version. Because I would like to obviously do some uh, some new game runs of him. Very clearly he'll be... Um... So no thank you. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm a fucking shill, dude. My, my, fucking, my fucking shill gun is locked and loaded. I want more new DMC. I think maybe one or two more games, and then the series can can go out pretty well. So, let's see here. Yeah, what's up, Mo? Do you? So, I guess. Oh, so yeah, the concentration meter is very clearly back because of the after images and stuff. I mean, they already confirmed that the concentration meter's back. And I wonder... Somebody brought up this uh, this point. Was that maybe with max concentration, um, you can get, like, quad S cancels and stuff. Which I think was pretty neat, be decent. It'll be, it'll be DLC for... Well, Virgil will be DLC for PS4, Xbox 360, and... Or Xbox One, I'm sorry. Um, and PC at a later date, but no word on whether or not uh, Legendary Dark Knight mode and Turbo are coming to those other releases. Uh, this is also going to include all of the DLC uh, in there. Yeah, <laughs> Xbox 360. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. Uh, as far as if I think that um, I think that as far as him getting more weapons um, I think that that's a possibility obviously like I'm not going to rule anything out until I have the, the game in my hands or I guess download it onto my, uh, onto my system. But, uh, I, I have my doubts that they would do that. Um, but I would, I would say don't rule it out. Maybe a, like a Eurizen t style thing. Um... I hope that maybe they'll lean into the ears and stuff. Like, imagine if he just got, like, a barehanded moveset. That would be cool. But I think that they would have shown that off in this trailer if he did get it. Because, clear, like, ears and clearly showed off, like, a barehanded moveset. Um, and I know that's because ears and was, like, the final ears and was, um... What's it called? The final year is in was basically supposed to be Balrog. But if they gave him something similar to that, that would be nice. I would be down with that in addition to Yamato. I also hope that they fix the um the sound effects on the spiral sword or on the, the summon swords. Because yeah. Yeah, rip force edge, dude. Totally rip force edge. Also this um This song is such a fucking banger, dude. Like this is definitely I think my favorite uh This is definitely my favorite track in DMC5. Like when when it first comes in with the vocals, it's like so good. Would I have your life? It's definitely an MGR track, yeah. 
You a demon. Right here. Surrender. It's the it's the surrender on this line that really sells me. Right? It's like the surrender in the, at the very end of this line just sells it. Oh yeah, there's and then there's the forever. There's the forever to accent the surrender. And then the remember, yep. And the editing on this is really nice too for this trailer because it says like uh they say remember and then he goes into this is power. Really, really nice. Like, let's just listen to it again. Like, kneel before me. Remember, this is power. So good. So good. Um, yeah, really, really nicely done trailer. Um, I think that if Casey Edwards, um, keeps up with making music like this, um, if, if Casey Edwards did music like this for all of DMC5, the soundtrack would be a lot better than it already, than it is. Uh, cause the DMC5 soundtrack is very like hit and miss for me. I know some people like it a lot, but, um, that it, it ain't, it ain't it for me, chief. I know he wasn't the sole composer. I'm just saying, like, if he were composing songs like this for the entirety of the soundtrack. I know it's it's a weird, like, sentence to say, to, like, get, but. But, yeah. Um, like, if. If the DMC5 soundtrack was, um. Like MGR 2.0, I'd have been like, take my money, you know, but it's not MGR 2.0. This is MGR 2.0. Also, there's chromatic aberration uh, on this judgment cut here. And uh, I don't know if this is um, something that's just a result of the battle ending. Because I see this a lot, like, in photo mode when I do real impacts. And I do a lot of real impacts. Um, and I don't really see it on, um... Maybe, yeah, because the camera's inside the attack. Um, it is, it is the same effect that's already on moves in the OG. I just don't remember where I've actually, like, what moves I've actually seen it on other than R.I., um, so, yeah, I don't know, photo mode's cool, I guess. Oh, Million Stab has it too, interesting, okay. I was like, do they only put it on, like, big moves? And then I was like, well, it's weird, Judgment Cut has it too, that's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Um, so, let's get into speedruns. And stuff. There are a lot of. Let's see if anybody beat my records. Okay, now this guy's going. People are going fucking ham with that shit. Um. Ah, oh, you'll get more DMC, Mateus. Don't worry. So, as far as the speed runs go for DMC Five Special Edition. And related content. Uh, I already announced um, 
that DMC5 SE is going to be a different board. Here is the placeholder for it. I already got it up and running. Game's not released until November 12th. Um, I need a better background image, but I'm waiting for some better images to come out. So, anyway. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing... Uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Foggy. <laughs> so, basically, DMC5 SE is going to be a separate board. Uh, and we're going to have separate rules according to what is possible in that game. Um, and it's going to have, like, different categories and stuff. Um, we're going to add Virgil categories eventually to the main leaderboard here. I guess I'm opening up two tabs. Yeah. We, we fuck with it. Um, we'll see how Virgil is going to get incorporated into this. I'm not really sure if like, cause the, the implication I guess would be that maybe divergence mode is also in there. So, I mean, I would hope that divergence mode is in there, but I, I would feel like they would have already announced that if that were the case. So, not going to bank on that idea. They might scurvier, but as as of right now, I don't really like... I think that speculating on it is not really going to help anybody. Um, so, I just like... I just don't bother with it. Because, like... Um, he, here's the thing, right? And this is going back to... The disclaimer that I said earlier was that I can understand that com like all the valid complaints, but like, and I talk about this sometimes with when I'm running DMC five, is that like I could think about how the enemies aren't aggressive enough and therefore Royal Guard is not as good. Um, yeah, what's up, Dean? Mm, fuck, I don't know. And I could think about stuff like how every boss teleports away from you. And does an AoE attack. Um, I could think about how much better V could have been. All that, but it doesn't actually change the game that's in front of me. Um, so, whether or not there's minor changes with Special Edition, I would like there to be. But whatever's there is there, and I'm just going to play it. Um, and just try to get better at it. Because... Um, wishing for a game to be better doesn't actually make it better. Um, there's something to be said, obviously, of me just settling with a product. Uh, as opposed to, uh, fighting for that product to be better. Um, but... I'm very much someone that, coming from fighting games, where... Like, I played Marvel 3 for fucking like four years or something like that and that game only ever got one patch and it added in more broken shit so the idea of change to me is just something that um is never guaranteed so you either seek to enjoy what is there um and think about how it could have been better sometimes um, or you just don't play the game. So, yeah. It got a hot fix patch after... No oh, yeah, it did to, to nerf Phoenix right. Yeah, well, fuck that assist, dude. That assist was dumb. That assist was so fucking garbage. They nerfed his health in, in Vanilla. But, um, so yeah, there, um, there will be a separate leaderboard for 5SE. There's going to be Virgil added to this. So we're going to add him to Bloody Palace, uh, the boss fight stuff. Um, yeah, what's up, Reapin? And we'll see how he fits into the game's categories. All right, Smash. And so, as far as, like, Devil May Cry 5 SE goes,
it's very likely that we're going to allow uh, DLC to be used in the runs because this is going to come with all of the DLC that was available in the deluxe edition of DMC5. So stuff like Cavar, GPO1, Pasta Breaker, Monkey Business, um, all that sort of shit. The picture for SE is the uh, the key art. It's it's this right here. I'll show you. Of course, it links to fucking DNC's Twitter. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Right here. This is the picture. I'll have to find you the um the highest resolution of that picture possible, flare it. I think I have a a copy of it from the uh what's it called? From the Capcom promo pack. I understand, Mateus, by the way, what Brazil's going through right now. And I'll tell you exactly why I understand. Um because when I held the DMC1 tournament, there was a new runner that was Brazilian. And eventually, the pot got up to $300. So I checked the Brazilian conversion rate, and it was a lot of money. And let me tell you, when I say that that runner from Brazil was the absolute most motivated runner of the entire tournament, I'm not lying to you. Because he played like fucking 12 hours a day. Just to just to get a shot at getting that three hundred dollars, he ended up getting third place after running the game for a month. You did miss SE talk, Lethal Placebo. You did miss SE talk. I'm sorry, bud. Why are people going so ham with this shit? What the fuck? God damn. Um. But yeah, I understand. Like that could have, if he had won all that money. He, it would have been really good for him. He ended up getting enough money for like a week's worth of lunches, which is just as good. I, or I, it's good, not just as good, but it's it's pretty good still. Um, let's see what else here. Um, and then as far as like how um, a week's worth of lunch is just okay. I guess just start then. Uh, also, hello, Platt. How are you? Um, as far as changes that I think they'll make with 5SE, I'm not going to talk about gameplay changes. What I am going to address maybe is the possibility that they'll patch glitches uh, with this release. So I think that definitely we're looking at Mission 3 University Skip getting removed. So I think that that will probably get patched. And the reason that I say that is... Um, because in my IGN video where the devs reacted to one of my runs, they saw university skip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it Suno says, um, we got to fix that. Um, and it was not only, okay, was it university skip? It was full university skip. So like I skipped all. All the way to Artemis. Because this was prior to the V-skips getting uh, found. So I skipped all the way to Artemis. So they saw me just bypass like, bypass, like the entire level. Um, should have used the pleb strats, right, Zanga? Right? Yeah, Sammy. It's crazy, right? It was announced. It's some good shit. Um... They, they weren't going to patch Vanilla because this was coming anyway. I mean, all you have to do is just fix the ledge itself, uh, Lethal. You just have to fix, fix the ledge itself. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Appreciate that. Um... Cosmic May Cry 5 Emotional Edition. What's up, Hack? 
Yeah, it is dope. I mean, I'm glad that they they watched it. I'm glad that they gave enough of a shit to actually watch like one of my runs. They could have just been like, nah, IGN, we're good. We don't feel like watching a speed run. <laughs> um The the big problem I think is like Shy Guy just said in chat here, is that if the Virgil patch comes to vanilla and they end up fixing stuff uh that would be fixed in in se um so then we'd have to start down patching to do uh runs with the main characters as well as up patch then again to current patch uh in order to do runs with virgil uh and that just sounds like a headache to me uh, so I hope that's not the case. I think that if they don't fix the glitches in vanilla and they fix them in special edition, it'll be really good because then 5 vanilla and 5 SE are just two do totally different beasts speedrun wise. So on the one hand, you have 5 vanilla um, that is like you can keep a folder with outdated game and, and another with the current patch easily on PC. Oh, good shit. Good shit. My day's going pretty well, Hack. My day's going pretty well. Thank you for asking. So on the one hand, you have 5 Vanilla that has like all these crazy skips and glitches and stuff. And whatever else that they don't change, along with no DLC in the route. Then you would have 5 Special Edition, on the other hand, with like Turbo and LDK mode... And, like, possibly glitches that are fixed. So it would be a little bit more of, like, a, a purist run. Plus there would be some DLC added in there. So who knows how, like, Mega Man Buster will, uh, will affect Nero's sections. That could be pretty interesting. Um, can you just imagine, like, putting three overtures onto a boss and then just, like, firing a Mega Buster, like, overcharge thing at them? That's, like, a ton of damage. That is an absolute, like, metric fuck ton of damage. Um, but I think that that's probably where I think that the potential lies for the game in terms of speed runs and, like, um, yeah, purist run. It, it's it's definitely, like, I mean, there's no other way to put it stylish and beautiful. If you don't like fucking glitches and shit in your games, then you're just a fucking purist. Like, that's all there is to it. You just like your pure, unadulterated gameplay. And probably think that glitches take no skill. But that's a totally different argument. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for... Uh, the... Um, I'm pretty excited for the release. Uh, I think what I'm probably most excited about is... I guess more on, on sort of a meta level. Uh, I learned a lot about moderating games, like specifically speedruns, um, from 5 Vanilla. Because when 5 Vanilla came out, uh, I was all on board to like ban Faust from runs or like something like that, you know? Um,. And I learned to just accept and just let a game be as it is. And so eventually we ended up with three pretty pretty good categories. Uh, new Game, New Game Plus, and New Game Plus Faustless. As soon as I came to the, um, the conclusion that I should just let the game be what it is, I immediately like moved from New Game Plus to New Game. Like, you can see that... Um, so, like, there, there's this run from, like, a year ago. And then prior to that, I didn't run it for, like, even longer of a time. But, yeah, there was a lot of time between me running, like, between, like, me running New Game and New Game Plus. But, um, and I learned how to, I guess, interact with the community better and understand, like, people's grievances with certain things and where I needed to put my foot down and uh, where I just needed to um, understand and add things. 
So, like, a big example is um, is this right here, Bloody Palace. Um, a bunch of the uh, Eastern runners really wanted to do boss fight runs. And at first, I was kind of against the idea. Uh, I was like, this is dumb. Who wants to do this? Fuck this, you know? And then eventually, I was like, well, they want to do it. So, let's see how much they're going to actually grind it out. And so, like, if you look at any of these, like, there's quite a few attempts under each one um, for all that. There's a lot of... A, a decent amount of runs under a lot of these categories. So people actually, like, did it. And the board looks pretty good still, even with this stuff being here. And it gives people sort of a stepping stone to, uh, to getting into the game. So I hope to take um, a lot of the things that I have learned about, like, modding a new speed game uh, and even and routing a new speed game as well I hope to take a lot of that over to 5SE uh, with Virgil and stuff and that's part of why I started running a lot of Virgil categories or Virgil related categories was because I wanted to prepare for this release I didn't think we were going to see it until 2021 but yeah now it's here so I I'm pretty excited for the future I wish that the idea of vitriol and hyperbole was just not so readily accepted on social media. Um, and I wish that I could have gotten to enjoy this announcement a bit more um, than I did. Because um, I was sort of just thrust into the thick of it and everything. Um... But yeah, so that's that's that.